morning children welcome back to our revision class today we are going to revise three chapters sorting materials into groups separation of substances and changes around us these three chapters for your periodic test 2 clear so let us revise these chapters first chapter sorting materials into groups first of all there is filling the blanks true or false and then name the following and give reason define the following and then answer the following so all these are important for you first an object is made up of dash answer materials dash usually look different from each other the same answer materials and the third one iron is a dash is a metal dash is a universal solvent is very important question dash is a universal solvent water is a universal solvent dash is a hardest substance in nature diamond next true or false stone is transparent while glass is opaque transparent stone is transparent and glass is opaque no it's a false and next a notebook has luster while eraser does not so it is also false chalk dissolves in water false a piece of wood floats in water true sugar does not dissolve in water false oil mixes with the water false sand settles down in water true vinegar dissolves in water true so next name the following name five objects which can be made from wood example chair desk table door stool so many items are made from wood next question give reason some metal articles become dull and lost their shine answer metals when exposed to air react with the moisture and the gases present in it thereby forming a dull layer of some other compound on it reason ana chodichirikkunnu endondana articles open ay open cheythu vechu kediyumbol endondana adinte color fade avunnathu endondana yes metals when exposed to air react with the moisture and the gases present in their atmosphere in it thereby forming a dull layer of some other compound on it vayu thurannu vekkumbol eerppavum gases umayitt adu react cheythu or dull coating adile form cheyi next define the following materials the matter from which something can be made is called the materials luster materials that are shining their freshly cut surface are called the lustrous tilakka maarna adana lustrous ennu udheshikkunnathu next answer the following what is sorting sorting is grouping of object together with the similar or dissimilar properties ore poleyo vyathyasthamaya ulla swabhavangal ulla adine orumichu cherthu vekkunnathine aanu endu parayunnathu sorting ennu parayunnathu what is transparent some substances or materials through which things can be 
seen are called the transparent substances. Edengilu uh, object in code, number no ki karina, number materials in a kana betu, and then other lode lie a number kai shagatum, and then opposite in the Vastuka and number kana sadikim. After them, materials in yan and the varina, transparent materials in the varina, your example on a glass. Water transparent. What is the difference between transfusant and opaque? This is the Transfusant is the material through which objects can be seen but not clearly are known as translucent. We have objects in a car, but clear. This is the issue of shadow. That is the issue that is translucent materials in the oily patch on paper uh, oily patch paper on the other could have a little bit of a clear right object in a color at a the materials through which thing we are not able to see those materials are called the opaque or object could have a look at the opposite object in a color patina after them Objects in the other opaque objects in the other notebook, wood, the lender example on opaque objects in a example on what is the difference between soluble and insoluble substances? Substances which completely disappear or dissolved in water is called a soluble substances. Soluble substances in the other. Complete it, a substance dissolve other sugar, salt, the kind of water and complete it dissolve. Other substances in the other soluble substances in the other. While other substances do not mix with the water or do not disappear in water, these substances are called insoluble substances. Insoluble substances in the other. Insoluble substances in the varanga, adilake complete it, substance dissolve again. Chalk powder, sand, either the mix in the water dissolve out. Illa. A padani and the varanga, insoluble substances in the varanga. Clear? Next, distinguish between hard material and soft material. Materials which are difficult to compress. Or scratch is called a hard materials. Adine urasano, adine compressi ano patata materials in a good to hold a materials in the other hard. Athera materials in the other hard materials in the other. Next, while other materials which are easily to compress or scratch is called a soft materials. Cotton, sponge, the soft materials in an example. Okay. Next, how materials are grouped? Materials are grouped together on the basis of similar and different in their properties. Their appearance, soft or hard, soluble or insoluble, float or sink, transparent, translucent and opaque. Materials are grouped together on the basis of similar and Different in their properties. There are many characteristics in the Adistan Kulana materials in a grouping. Okay. Next, how can we prove that water is transparent? Water transparent is an Ariandula or experiment. Take a beaker half filled with the water. Put a coin in water and places the beaker undisturbed for a few minutes. Where enough light is there, now observe the coin immersed in water from the top of the water. We can clearly see the coin immersed in water. This proves that water is transparent. In the other one, put a beaker in the water and then put a light in the water. A coin at the lake place. We have to pick up a coin at the lake place. We have to place it in the car. Yes, 
water transparent ana objects ne kaanan pattille water lode adana avada parnjirikkana simple aayittulla oru experiment aanu next what is the reasons for grouping materials endinu vendittana materials ne group cheyyunnathu materials are grouped for our convenience to study their properties and also observe any patterns in any properties okay appo endinu vendittana nammada convenience ne namukku padikkan aavashyamaya reethiyil adine arrange cheythu oru ninde characteristics um karyangalum padikkanulla convenience ne vendittum adu pole oru pattern form cheyyunnathinu vendittu adu adinu vendittu okkeyana materials ne group cheyyunnathu appo ithreyumana ee chapter il ningalku thannirikkunna question answers അതുകൊണ്ട് എല്ലാം തന്നെ പഠിക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുക ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സെപ്പറേഷൻ ഓഫ് സബ്സ്റ്റൻസസ് അതും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ചാപ്റ്റർ ആണ് സെപ്പറേഷൻ ഓഫ് സബ്സ്റ്റൻസസിൽ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അതും എല്ലാം മനസ്സിലാക്കി വയ്ക്കുക ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസർ കൂടുതൽ നമുക്ക് പ്രിഫർ ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ first filling the blanks the method of separating seeds of paddy from its stalks is called the dash threshing when milk cooled after boiling is poured onto a piece of cloth the cream malai is left behind on it this process is separation this process of separating cream from milk is an example of dash filtration and the next salt is obtained from sea water by the process of dash evaporation impurities set in at the bottom when muddy water was kept overnight in a bucket the clear water was then poured off from the top the process of separation used in this example is called a decantation husk and stones could be separated from grains by dash hand picking dash is a universal solvent this is a repeated question water dash is used when components of mixture have different sizes sieving next true or false a mixture of milk and water can be separated by filtration faults a mixture of powdered salt and sugar can be separated by the process of winnowing faults separation of sugar from tea can be done with filtration faults grain and husk can be separated with the process of decantation faults so Uh, next half of this chapter and the chapter 6 we will discuss or revise in next class okay thank you